Hello again, and welcome back to, I think, the fourth video in our series. Uh, I am Captain Grind. I am here to teach you how to set up and play Conflict of Nations. In this series, I am going to try and play an entire game, start to finish, win or lose, while sharing my outcomes and my strategies. Today, we are going to talk about Coalition. So go ahead and hit the like button, and please subscribe to this channel for more great content. But anyway, back to coalitions. You can see here, I am the country of Angolia. I have some troop movement. Uh, it's very early in the game. Day one, 20th hour. So, I did receive a message from my neighbor Chad saying, join. Asking me to join his coalition. But before I do, there are a few things I want to look at. Here is, um, let's find Chad on the map. I think he's right here. Yes, that is correct. Positioning. First thing is positioning. He's close by. I like to join uh, coalitions with neighbors and people nearby. Even though we don't border each other's countries, we could invade the space in between tactfully and take over all this area too, potentially, if he is a good partner. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click here. I'm going to pull up the diplomacy tab with Chad on top. And I'm going to click info. Let's see what kind of player this is. Okay, rank 20, Lance Corporal. Not at war with any nations yet. Good morale. Good country size. I know Chad uh, as a player. Landlock. It's actually a good country. Um, level 20 isn't bad. As you play, you'll see uh, how people are ranked. There's a lot of people you know, from 1 to 10. Most people kind of don't get past that from what I see. I think that's a pretty good uh, match for me with location and experience. I kind of didn't like his message of just join, um, but hey, whatever. So I'm going to click the coalitions tab. I know this is Chad here. I know Chad's flag. I can hit details. So yes, that is Chad's coalition. But before I apply, um, because you can only apply to one at a time, I'm going to look at some other stuff. Let's see. We got China, Europe, Europe, NATO, uh, NATO. Looks, I think that's maybe France leading that the russia i'm sorry yeah um what else i saw another africa Af asia and africa who okay first of all that one's full um algeria's in there libya maui okay not for me it's full i think it's good that i join someone soon just to have some backup so i am going to apply i'm going to click apply click okay I can cancel the application now if I want, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to go back to diplomacy. I'm going to write him a message that says applied. So hopefully he gets it. Hopefully he's willing to work together. We'll talk more about that later, but that is how you join a coalition, and that is how I choose who I play with. Again, you know, he's nearby. He's level 20, so he has some experience. You know, look, DR Congo, you know, may, let's see what DR Congo is. Maybe he could join us too, right? Okay, rank 14, uh, not so great. But you get the picture. I, I definitely vet people and uh, try and pick the best players near to me. 11, see? So out of the, the few in the area, uh, teaming up with Chad, who's level 20, is a lot better than these two countries. Nambia is still a computer player. So, yeah, that's it. That's how I joined the coalition. Hopefully he uh, accepts my application soon and we can start working together. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Let's get this information out to the people who will enjoy it and use it and have a better gaming experience on Conflict of Nations. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.